Venerable, uh, I would like to ask a question. Nowadays, when I go into the houses in Europe, I see that many who aren't Buddhist, they like to put Buddha images in the house. Why do they like to do that? Well, the Buddha image is one of the most uh, common uh, forms of decoration which you find in the houses these days. Sometimes even in garden centers and in furniture shops you find Buddha images actually for sale and people buy these to decorate their homes sometimes uh, without any idea about what is the meaning of this statue which they have bought. You might think that if they are not Buddhist then they would not want uh, images of the Buddha in their home but in fact even though they are not Buddhist but they still like the smiling face of the Buddha or they feel peaceful when they see this object in their home and the fact that they have chosen a Buddha image to decorate their home rather than some other sort of decoration Buddhists feel that this is a good thing in general because it means they may have some affinity for Buddhism or they they may feel interested to explore more about Buddhism in the future. So in general we feel that it's a good thing that Buddha images are found so widely in the different uh, houses in Europe. The only problem which sometimes happens when people have Buddha images in their home but they don't use them knowingly is that uh, they may put the Buddha images in a place which Buddhists would not find it suitable for Buddha images to be displayed and for example in some yoga centers I visited in say Switzerland uh, the people took heads of the Buddha and they stood them on the floor and for Buddhists this would be seen as rather uh, disrespectful because normally a Buddha image should be put on a place which is slightly higher than the person looking at it not on the floor and in fact it's was pointed out even by a very young girl who had seen Buddha images correctly displayed in many other places she asked why should this Buddha image be put on the floor and very quickly and without realizing it uh, that they had done anything disrespectful the yoga center were very quick to put the Buddha image in a better place but there are some sorts of displaying of Buddha image which Buddhists do find a little bit distasteful and one example of this is the display of Buddha images in places like uh, places where alcohol is being drunk uh, there's a chain of uh, bars around the world called Buddha Bar even with its own brand of music and the identifying feature of this restaurant is that in the bar you must also have a Buddha image it's like Western people like to mix the very worst of human nature with the very best of human nature and they call that artistic so this is something which Buddhists don't find tasteful and this sort of use of Buddha image would not be one which we would uh, like to recommend to others. Also where Buddha images are have their head removed and are made into things like for example uh, lamp standards or just decorations often as Buddhists we don't find this very tasteful either because often in the past there used to be robbers going into temples and when they couldn't take the whole Buddha image they would cut the head of the Buddha and sell that to tourists so having an incomplete Buddha image sometimes we find that distasteful as well but in general having a Buddha in the home I think is a good thing and it can be an inspiration and it can uh, lead people to want to explore more about the meaning of the Buddha and his life so in general I don't find it a problem that even those who are Buddhists have Buddha images in their home Venerable, can I ask a question? Um, if you are a Buddhist, um, is, is it necessary that we have a Buddha image, a Buddha statue in our house? Because, I ask this question because um, many people in Belgium, they see Buddhism as a philosophy and not as a religion. So is it necessary to have put the Buddha images or not? In fact, this is an interesting question because Buddhism is not a materialist uh, religion. Uh, it doesn't place emphasis on artifacts or particular symbols or on particular objects which are sacred. 
it's not even that Buddha images are there for Buddhists to worship. So in theory, you could say that a Buddha image is not really important for Buddhists to have if those Buddhists already have a good understanding of what the Buddha practiced. Because in Buddhism, we always say the best way to show your respect for a Buddha is to practice what he taught rather than uh, paying respect or homage to the Buddha himself. So in theory, by practicing the philosophy or the lifestyle of Buddhism, you are already doing enough as a Buddhist. It's not necessary to have a special place or a special object in your home to make you into a proper Buddhist. In fact, there are even some places in the world where because of the laws of the country, you are not allowed to take artifacts from uh, other religions, for example Buddhism, into that country. So if you are a practicing Buddhist and you happen to visit countries like Saudi Arabia, then you have to take your whole religion with you, but on the inside of yourself. And this is still not a problem because I know many Buddhists who do practice uh, Buddhism without such artifacts in their homes in places like Saudi Arabia. But in general, to have a Buddha image is seen as something which helps people to remind them of the personage of the Buddha, or perhaps to use the Buddha image as a starting point when they come to meditate. Sometimes if you are meditating on the image of a Buddha, it's useful to have a Buddha image to look at, and then when you close your eyes, you can imagine that image on the inside of yourself as a way to practice meditation. In such a case, uh, it's useful to have a Buddha image. Also to have a shrine of some sort or a corner in your home where it's particularly calm and peaceful and where you can sit and be inspired by perhaps the example of the Buddha by seeing a Buddha image there. This is a good way to bring a little bit of the temple culture into your home. It's not the material aspect which is important to us, but it's rather the inspiration which we get from seeing something which will raise our level of uh, enthusiasm to practice Buddhism. <laughs>